Hello everybody, blah blah peace. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we went up north to Bill's house and we received the SS and ticket. And we also defeated a Team Rocket Grunt that stole the TM Dig. And then I took the move Dig and taught it to Hotness. Now, in this episode, we're gonna head down south to Vermilion City. Uh, but before we actually make it there, there's one new Pokemon in this area that I'd like to show off. Please be the actual Pokemon that I want to show off. Thank you, it's Meowth. Uh, they've got other Pokemon here as well, but this is the only new one. Uh, Meowth is very, very fast. Like, it is a very, uh, swift Pokemon compared to several others in the game. However, it really isn't that useful as far as defense or attacking it's all of its stats are very mediocre except for speed so it can do uh, like it can utilize status infliction moves such as toxic or moves that cause flinching such as bite stuff like that but aside from that it's pretty much worthless I definitely do not recommend it because there are better Pokemon out there uh, that can do the similar thing and then some uh, anyway in here I run the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? No, not right now. Okay. Uh, basically, this is the daycare, and if you drop off a Pokemon here, you will uh, raise its experience by one for every step you take, and it can level up, it can learn new moves, stuff like that. Uh, so it's basically free training whenever you're out and about and doing other stuff. So if there's a Pokemon you want to drop off here, such as, you know what? Just for the heck of it, let me see if I have him on my team. Yes, I have Magikarp right now. Well, it's a she, but anyway. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Yes. Which Pokemon should I raise? I will give him Magikarp. Because seriously, Magikarp was not going to be doing anything for me this entire game. I don't plan on using uh, Gyarados on my team. But it will count as one of the 60 Pokemon that I need to beat the game. And... Uh, yeah, I'll come back for it later, and that's basically a free Pokemon. But anyway, we have to go through here, down through the underground path. Let me see. Hi, do you have a Nidoran female? Want to transfer my Nidoran male? Uh, no. Both Pokemon are extremely easy to get, so I don't really see the point of that either way. Uh, but anyway, come down here through the underground tunnel. And we just skipped over a city, but we really can't even have access to the city yet because the guards won't let us through. Uh, people often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. So, we'll... I'll probably cover that later if I forget. Oh well, it's really no biggie. Uh, but anyway, here we are on Route 6. There's no new Pokemon here. This is the first time I'm actually seeing Bellsprout. I mean, I might as well go ahead and catch it just for the heck of it. Let me see if I actually can. Nope, quick attack kills it. <laughs> But yeah, there's no new Pokemon here. Uh, the sidebars will tell you who's available, but that's pretty much it. Uh, here, you don't have to fight any trainer except for the very last one, which is what I'm going to do. Huh? You want to talk to me? No, you kind of want to talk to me. You, you approached me. I didn't even... Just shut up, Jeff. Go away. Alright, so let's see, he's gonna send out a Spearow. Level 16, so by now you should definitely be able to handle pretty much anything that comes your way. At least until uh, the next few boss battles, but random trainers and wild Pokemon, you should be fine. Oh, you got a Raticate of your own? Let's see if it can survive. Hyper Fang! Nope! Alright, so that didn't take too long. This stinks, I couldn't beat your challenge. Well, you challenged me, so you lost your own challenge. GG. Alright, well. Uh, I actually don't even have to heal right now, but I do want to stop in uh, the Pokemon Center just to pick something up. Uh, went ahead and switched out Brute Root out in front since he's the lowest level. Uh, if you talk to this chick, the urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too, so I've been giving these away. Please take one. Obtain the VS Seeker. Basically, uh, the more you walk around, the more its battery charges, but once it's fully charged, you can use it 
to rematch against certain trainers that you've already fought. Now, some people may think this is pointless. What's the point of battling the same trainers over and over again? Well, some trainers will actually give you a lot of money, and some trainers will actually give you a lot of experience. So, uh, later on in the game, if you do need a grind for money or experience, uh, the BS Seeker can definitely come in handy. Uh, personally, I don't think I'm going to get to that point uh, where I need it, but it is there just in case. Uh, so, anyway, in Vermilion City, there are a couple things I want to take care of, but the main one is SSN, but we won't be covering that till pretty much the end of the episode. That'll be the entire thing. Uh, so, let's see. Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans, welcome. If we come in here, talk to this guy. I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to hear me talk about my Pokemon? Eh, uh, not really. Well, technically yes, but anyway. Good. Then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes. It's stunning, kindly, love it, hug it, win, sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I catch you way too long. Thanks for hearing me out. Alright, so after all that, you get the bike voucher. You take this to the bike shop in Cerulean City, exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite Fero will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. So that guy was a little creepy. Uh, especially the way I was reading his text. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut to Cerulean City and we'll get the bike. See you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, back in Cerulean City, if we come in here, get this guy the bike voucher, there you go, free bike, just like the chairman said. Now, the bike, you already have the running shoes that make you go a bit faster, now the bike, let's register this so now that whenever we press select it'll make that item uh, become usable. The bike makes, it go, makes us go a little bit faster than the running shoes. Uh, the only downfall to this is when you're in the wild and you don't have repels, Pokemon will appear more often when you're on a bike because you're basically making more of a fuss. Uh, that's the logic behind that. Uh, also, you get this very nice music. I love the bike theme. In pretty much every Pokemon game, I love the bicycle themes. Uh, sometimes I get on the bike just to listen to the theme. But anyway, back to Vermilion City. Alrighty, back in Vermilion City, uh, you'll notice that there's a tree in front of the gym, and if you approach it, the tree looks like it can be cut down. Uh, we had the ability to use cut outside of battle because we beat Misty, however we don't have the actual HM for cut yet. That's why we have to take on the SSM. Uh, but before we do that, actually, I want to come over here to Route 11. I'm not going to worry about the actual route. Well, yeah, I don't, don't want to worry about the route just yet. I do want to show off Diglett's cave. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this a long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Yeah, once you actually have the ability cut, uh, you can make it all the way through here and you'll finally be able to reach uh, Viridian and Pewter City again uh, since back in Cerulean City we made that little leap of faith that we basically can't go backwards. Uh, but I'm not actually going to take this on just yet, but I do want to show off that there are two new Pokemon in here. Uh, first up is Diglett, and uh, basically the only two Pokemon that you can find here are Diglett and its evolved form, Dugdrio. Uh, Dugdrio is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Uh, it learns some really great moves, and it's got an average attack stat. It's not too great, but it's, it's good enough to make use of the powerful moves that it does have. Uh, in addition, it's got an ability called Arena Trap, if you can actually get one with that ability. that will make it to where the Pokemon cannot flee or switch. Let me actually try to find another one and try to run away. Wow! Second Pokemon is a Dugdrio. Okay, um, this... Wow. Okay, Dugdrio will only appear here 5% of the time, and I think they range from levels 29 to 31. But 
wow, you can see even Brewroot's having trouble. Like, if I used Vine Whip, it probably would have killed it or at least gotten it weak. Uh, but still, wow. I want to catch this thing just because it's there. I don't want to... I don't want to risk running away. Come on. Stop using Fury Swipes. Oh, come on! Like, you can see how much damage this Dugdrio is doing. It's level 29. That's a ways higher than the next gym. And the next gym is actually an electric gym. So, being ground, there you go. You've got a great Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Let's wish for the best. Oh, come on, don't break free. Alright, it missed. It's going to save me a little bit of time. Come on. Oh, I don't keep breaking free, please. All I have is Pokeballs on me. Oh, come on. Oh, no, not Poison Point! No, 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 no! Hotness! No, don't do this to me! Fury Swipes can hit up to five times, and each time, bonus effects can happen. And he got poisoned on the first one. This is it. This is my only chance. Come on, catch it. Aww. Dang it! He's gonna faint underground. That sucks. Anyway, the point I was trying to get at is if you have a Pokemon with Arena Trap, it could be extremely useful for catching a certain Pokemon later on in the game. And yeah, I want to come back and catch one eventually, but for now I'm just gonna give up. Uh, but anyway, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, I will go through the SSN. I'm pretty much going to be speeding it up because it's only a temporary area. Like, as soon as you're done, the area it's gone for good. You can't go back. So, I'm going to speed it up so I can show everything. But I'll take it on the next episode because I don't want this episode to drag on too long. And I don't want it to be too editing intensive. So, till next time, thank you all very much for watching. And goodbye.